Hey, how's it going? Welcome back. This is a bit of a throwback episode to like Power of Video last month. So Power of Video, if you don't know what that is, it's like a festival conference based here in Belfast. It's run by a few of my friends and I sort of help out with a bunch of the design, the photography, social media, bits and pieces like that. Um, it brings loads of cool speakers from all over the world into Belfast. This is the third year. And if you want to find out any more about Power Video, I'll link them below and you go and check it out. You can see all the cool speakers there at this year's event. One of those speakers was Dan Mace. If you don't know who Dan Mace is, he's a South African film and video director. He's got a long background in commercial film and advertising, and recently he's made this big leap to YouTube. So I was hanging out with the guys throughout the week, taking the photos and doing other bits and pieces, and I got to know them quite well. And then Dan said to me at one point, yo, I've got this photo series I'm working for on Instagram called 123 Story, where I tell a story in three photos, start, middle, and end. Do you want to come and help me with my next one? I was like, yeah, dude, that sounds awesome. When do you want to do it? And he was like, well, I want to do it tomorrow morning. So the two of us bounced up at like 5 a.m. We got up on top of the roof. We looked out over Belfast. And we watched the sunrise. So the concept behind it was if you see a ladder, climb it. And that was him basically saying, if you see an opportunity, take it. So we went and took these three photos and I got to see how Dan's concept comes to life. Now it was cool because he had this idea of what he wanted and what he wanted to tell. And I got to work with him to bring that vision to life. And I was like, well, I think you should do it this way. What if we looked here, we worked together and we created these three images. I was like, these are, these are awesome. So much thought's gone into this. Fast forward to the end of the week, we've done a whole bunch of different bits and pieces together. And he said to me, yo, I'm gonna be here for another week hanging out in Dublin um, with Gab. So do you wanna come down, hang out, we'll grab some lunch, we'll go take some more photos. I was like, yeah, bro. So I went down, met up with him and Gab, spent the day in Dublin, and we went and got some chicken wings, which he got food poisoning from, apparently. I ate the same chicken wings. I was like, next day I was totally fine. He was texting going, yo, those flipping chicken wings killed me. Are you okay? I was like, yeah, I'm totally fine, dude. So he's now since gone vegan. I take no responsibility on that. But then anyway, we wanted to work in these photos. So we're sitting over lunch discussing some ideas. We come up with this concept based on his slogan catchphrase, smack it. And I was like, well, yo, why don't we just do a real literal take on that? So he's like, yeah, that sounds awesome. So went into the woods and shot these three photographs. It was, it was brilliant. It was really, really fun. It was really cool seeing like him think like it was really cool talking and working with him to get these shots so this is kind of like a behind the scenes glimpse at what we got up to that day okay so we're at a golf course down in the south south of Dublin, below Dublin. We're doing this photo. The theme is around Dan saying, smack it. So we're gonna go for a very literal approach at the whole thing. And like, he's gonna smack a golf ball. That's the concept behind it. Or well, we're looking for some leading lines, somewhere like, that I can shoot on a long lens of him walking towards me. Let's get the gear. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that time to smack it. And smack it, okay. And then the thing, thing's gonna go flying, bro. Okay. That's hilarious. <laughs> Okay, so we're looking for these, we're looking for these leading lines, right? So we want this, like, this vibe looking down through the trees, we shot one. There's a bit of light there. Yeah, but no, no, stay where you are. There's this light on you there. Pants like these. He's not happy, he wanted skinny trousers. I'm not sure he would have fitted in a skinny trousers. Okay, so we're using those lines. Ah, oh, that's not wide enough. Okay, so we're using those lines of the trees and trying to capture Dan coming down towards it really, really low. That's what we're trying to do. Raindrop at that lens, unbelievable. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, how's the pants look? Better. Do it from here then, let's get the exit point. Yeah, so there's light on my face, only down there. No, no, I think we'll be fine, I think we'll be fine. Hit it from here. I've never been on a golf course before. Oh, really? I know you'll be fine. This, there's no one teeing off from here. Tier points up there. So we're doing a shot where Dan hits the... the oh, we're talking! Ah. Jesus! <laughs> That's what he has to do. That's what you have to do in the shot. You like low angle ball looking up at me. I'm just going to go like this. Okay. Thank okay. You. Yep, makes sense. I hope. I hit it down there. Down that red flag. I think 
you missed. I think, I think you missed. Let's try that again. Take the ball now, man. Nice. This is the, this is the tee up. 50 mm lens down low. Okay, three shots got a lot of bursts. You happy with those? Yes, my sir. Yeah, and we didn't get hit by a club, which is a, always a bonus. Okay. Back to the office. And by office, I mean Dan's room. Why is he in a gown? Why is he in a gown? Where's my gown? Not drawn for you, my sir. <laughs> okay, so you can check them out here. I'm not really sure what's going on today, I'm honest. It's the view. Thank you, man. Thank you, my home. I'll send it to you later and have fun in uh, the flight back and the rest of your week here. Oh, dude, uh, but I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Went through the photographs. Dan picked the ones he likes. There was a lot of photographs. I'm going to go back, fix them up, do a little bit of post-production. Then I'll bounce them over to him for uh, him to upload on his Instagram. That was really good fun, though. Dan's got a really awesome vision. That's the second set of photos we've worked on now. And he's got a way of thinking that is, like, it's deep. Like, I pop a photograph up that I've taken that I like, but Dan's, like, how do we create this series of photos? And he's not just gonna post anything to his page. It's really quite inspiring. But now I have like a two hour drive back to the north because I just came down here to hang out really. That was a really odd day. So I didn't expect that. Anyway, that's the shots, that's the video. I hope you liked it. Like it was really, really interesting and like eye-opening working with Dan on these things. Like I was really inspired to put a lot more effort into some of the photos I take. Like I'm really guilty of just popping up a good photograph because it looks nice. We're like, oh, I really like the look of that, fire it up. Uh, but he like thinks about his shots before. And I know a few guys here that do that and think and plan their shots before. I'm not saying I don't plan it, but I'm saying like, I want to put a bit more effort into some of the photography I do. Where I'm like, you know what? I want to capture one particular image because I want to depict this vibe or this feeling or this emotion. So it's just, it's inspired me to go and put a bit more thought into it. Dan, if you're watching this, thanks so much dude for hanging out. That was awesome. I had a really good fun and hopefully we get to do that again in the near future. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like it, hit the thumbs up, hit the sub if you aren't already subscribed and I guess I'll catch you guys tomorrow. All right, good night. Surely that's fine.